Wallahi, my brothers, my sisters, the Sahaba radiallahu anhum fought for us. They, they embraced others. They opened their hearts. It must have been a struggle, but by the help of Allah, it was made easy. Imagine strange people coming to your home. You share half of what you, want, you have from the bottom of your heart. We are so clingy. We will not allow our brothers to drive the new BMW that we've bought. You see, don't even drive this. Wait, 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 don't drive. And you know what's the excuse? You're not insured on it. I agree you're not insured on it. Good. But move it down the drive. Come on. No, you're not allowed. It's illegal. And you know in your heart, don't want it. Just now it's going to scratch the car. Scratch the car. The Sahaba radiallahu anhum scratched their pockets and took out whatever they had and said, listen, this is mine. Take half and we share it. Abdurrahman ibn Awf radiallahu anhu went out into the marketplace. He says, show me where's the market. There's the market. He came back in the evening with the Prophet. Allahu Akbar. He made money. Little while later, subhanallah, he made a lot of money. Some time later, he was known as one of the richest of the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. May Allah grant us all sustenance. May we all see the first billion soon. You don't know whether I was talking about Zimbabwe dollars or, <laughs> or pounds or what it was. But mind you, that Amin was quite interesting. May Allah grant us billions of rewards. My brothers and sisters, I tell you something very interesting. Allah praises the companions in the Quran. I start off with the end of that verse. Allah describes the Muhajireen who were the first people to accept Islam in Makkah as as sadiqun the truthful ones. No matter what persecution came in their direction, they did not give up their faith. If anything, it made them strong. And they became those who were loved by Allah. Allah says, those poor muhajirun, those poor people who were driven out of their homes and their wealth was taken away from them because they were calling out to Allah alone. Allah says, for the sake of Allah, they left and they had to leave their wealth behind. They were driven out of their homes. Allah says, they were the ones seeking the virtue of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They are the truthful ones. Imagine you're driven out of your homes. Imagine all your wealth taken. If a day comes when you lose things, always think of those better than you in the eyes of Allah who lost more than you and it will help you. It will help you. They lost a lot. Allah praised them in the Quran. Allah says for them is Jannah. Then Allah says, as for those who lived in Medina already and they had their homes in Medina already and they opened their homes for those who were coming in as Muhajireen and they gave away things that they desperately needed because the other one needed it. Allahu Akbar.